name is Kennedy and you can find me on um, Poshmark at Ken Thrifts and also on Instagram at Ken Thrifts and I am a part-time um, slash full-time reseller um, and the reason I say that is because um, this is all that I do reselling is my only job currently um, but I am a stay-at-home mom and so the time that I dedicate um, to Poshmark and to my um, listings and all the things that I'm doing um, really equates to more of like a part-time um, type of job so anyways I am slowly but steadily working on making this a little bit more of a um, full-time income and I really enjoy what I do and so today I have a thrift haul for you and um, this haul is actually from a local store and it's like a church thrift store um, the majority of this I think there might be one thing that isn't but the majority of this is from that church thrift store and one reason I really like to go um, to the church thrift is because their prices are a little bit lower um, honestly this one is really funny because I don't even think that they have um, like set prices. There's an older lady that runs it. She's the only one I've ever seen in there. And um, she just does the math in her head like it's a garage sale. Um, and it, you know, it works out fine. It's also a, um, like, it's also a food bank, like four days a week, this same thrift store. So I like um, supporting it. I like giving them my money. Um, and so if I'm already gonna be, you know, um, sourcing for reselling, I think it's a good place to go and their prices are reasonable and um, they seem to have a pretty good selection I think that in general um, one of the reasons I really like checking out like church based or like more local thrift stores um, and not just sticking just solely to Goodwill is because I do feel like um, it's a little bit more like Plato's Closet like people that are donating to a church thrift store um, probably aren't going to donate things that are like dirty and grungy and you know not in very good condition because they're donating it for the church to make money off of so um, for the most part the items that they do have they're um, typically in pretty good condition especially um, I've been finding a lot of good kids things I don't have kids things in this haul um, most of the kids things I do keep for my own kids I have um, four age five all the way down to my youngest is three months so um, I do usually keep a lot of the kids stuff that I find but um, this is my haul from the other day and so I will go ahead and get started um, if you like this video if you like reseller content um, go ahead and give this video a like and also subscribe I am going to be trying to put out more videos um, more frequently that's one of my goals for the new year is to get into um, my social media a little more and so definitely YouTube and Instagram is gonna be big for me this year um, so the first item that I have here is actually men's I believe and it is a 100% I don't know if you guys can see that lambs wool J crew sweatshirt so the season for this is maybe a little it's it's starting to go out of season but it's still pretty cold in a lot of places so I think that this will do okay it's not super thick um, I don't know if you guys can see but it's you know it's not super thick um, but it is lambs wool so it will definitely keep you warm and it is a men's size extra large I originally thought maybe this was women's um, however when I was looking up the J crew um, lambs wool sweaters for comps they all seem to be men's so I think that this is men's although you could definitely I would say you could get away with wearing it um, as like a unisex sweater and so for that one sorry if you guys see me looking over here I have my comps I went ahead and already looked up all of these things um, before doing this video so that I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm gonna list them for so that one was originally um, like hundred and nine dollars and I'm planning to list it around 44 um, and when I say that I'm planning to list it around that I'm not necessarily expecting to get that it would be great if I did um, but that's just kind of gonna be like my base price so I typically try to um, price my items at least four to five dollars higher than what I would ideally want to get from them and um, even so I do end up sometimes taking offers for even less than the four to five dollars less than the price um, that's just because on Poshmark, the way it works, um, a lot of 
people send offers um, or expect you to be sending offers and I do use offer to letters pretty often so I want my price to um, be high enough that I feel comfortable offering a discount pretty frequently when someone likes my items. Um, next, I actually find some really good men's stuff at this thrift store, which is funny because typically in Goodwill, um, my husband will look and I will look and we don't come across as much in the normal Goodwill. So this is another reason I like this thrift store specifically. Um, this one is from H&M and it is a size small, US small, and it's just a really simple um, New York Manhattan sweatshirt. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom there. Uh, just like a crew neck sweatshirt has like NYC and some cool pictures and it says Manhattan across the top there. Um, I don't typically pick up H&M all the time. I love H&M but H&M goes on sale a lot and so the resale value just isn't always very high. However, I am looking to add more men's things to my closet and it wasn't very expensive so I did go ahead and pick that one up. Um, it looks like it was probably about $30 new. I'm hoping to get um, 16 for it. I'm going to list it at 16 and we'll see how that does. Uh, the next item I have is Aeropostale. Same thing with Aeropostale. I would not always pick up Aeropostale. And I actually think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a newer tag or older tag. Um, it's a men's small. But it's just a nice, um, really good condition, casual sweater. And it has this like heathered navy and red and then a royal blue stripe and a white stripe through it. And so it's like really, I don't know, I think this is perfect for church, um, you know, like a little bit more formal occasions, even um, like a high schooler that needs to dress up for sports. This is a really good um, sweater to have. So I like this one. I like the style of it. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, same thing. I'm not expecting a ton from that one, but I will probably list that one. Oh, let's see. Probably similar. I'll list that one around $18 to start. Um, next, I have this On The Bias, um, which is a personal favorite men's t-shirt. On The Bias um, used to be sold at PacSun. I actually don't think that they sell it anymore, so these are a little bit older, but they um, definitely seem to have a following. I know my husband loves on the bias shirts. A lot of times they have this like Aztec tribal looking design um, on them, lots of bright colors, fun colors. So this is just a simple men's tee. It needs steamed. Um, and it is a size medium, so it's a good size. And so that one I'm probably just going to honestly list this one at like 14. Um, not expecting a ton from that, but it's good to have. Somebody might want to bundle it. so. I like to have that. Then this next item is actually, I think, one of the two items that did not come from the church thrift. This one um, came from the Clothes Mentor, 75% off sale. So it is Rock and Republic, you guys can see, um, denim prescription. And um, this is called the Fix Skinny Jean. And the reason I picked these up was mostly for style. I don't know if you guys can see. But they have like these cute little studs right there and then the hem, the hem is a raw hem um, which is super popular right now and they are skinny jeans so very stylish um, and I just like the wash and they're in really good shape. And these were $5 so I went ahead and got these for $5 because I think they're in good shape and I've never really tried Rockin' Republic so it's a new brand and I'm trying that one out. Um, I did look those up. They retail for about $88, and I'm going to list these for about $24. And we'll start it there and see how they do. Um, also, if you see anything that you um, would like to claim on this video, uh, I don't do any transactions off of Poshmark at this time. Um, it just It's too much of a hassle to try to do things on multiple platforms, um, especially with the limited time that I do dedicate to this. So, if you see something and you're interested in it, um, I think only one of these items is listed already. The rest will be listed here soon. So, if you're interested, leave your Poshmark name and I will tag you when I make the listing. And that way you can purchase that if you would like. Uh, this next item that I have is a 
Columbia jacket and I don't pick up Columbia too often mostly because a lot of times when I find it it seems to be in pretty bad shape um, this one however is in good shape and it's this Omni heat um, and it's a size medium so good size it is just a plain quarter zip purpley fleece on the outside um, and then it has that kind of smoother panels right here on the sides and here's the back so you guys can see um, and yeah quarter zip and it's in really pretty good shape um, just maybe a little tiny you know just some like wash wear um, but definitely very very good condition still and so I wanted to pick this one up I thought this was something that um, is a good kind of closet staple especially for the transition into spring um, people still need you know jackets a lot of times for spring so this is a good one and this one is I think I'm gonna list it for about 29 um, which might be a little high but I would rather price it a little high and then you know have to lower it than price it low and you know miss out on a potential buyer that would have bought it for a little bit higher so um, that one retails about $60 and I'm gonna list it around 29 Next is another brand that I don't typically um, pick up. I had, I feel like I had a lot of these um, at the church thrift, but the price, um, for the price, because I think I paid like $2 for most items or less, $2 or less um, for these items. So for the price, that's even cheaper than my Goodwill. Most of the time, my Goodwill um, tops and sweaters are going to be anywhere from like 450 to 530 um, and then I usually only buy them if they're the half off color of the day but still I mean the cheapest that I usually um, get my tops and my sweaters and things from the regular Goodwill is like 225 so I feel pretty comfortable picking up some of these brands that are just a little bit more like bread and butter like simple brands um, from this church thrift because they are in really good shape and they're nice to just add to my closet and give me some variety. So this is Gap. It's just a plain heathered, heathered pinkish red um, sweater. Has kind of that rolled cuff look. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it closer. And then it has a little bit of like a high-low hem here. And it is a size medium. And yeah, just really simple Gap. I love Gap personally. Um, if it was for me, I would definitely buy Gap. But I don't buy it always to resell because um, it just doesn't resale, resell for very high. Um, typically, you know, some, some Gap things, but I feel like their basic pieces um, don't have a super high value. For resale so I don't always grab them um, for something like that retails about $50 so I'm probably gonna price mine at about 18 sorry guys I have to like reach way down here to get some of this stuff because I'm getting down to the bottom of my pile here um, this is Avenue and actually I have never picked up Avenue I never see it but I'm always looking for good condition um, clothes in the bigger sizes and I know that Avenue is a nice store um, that has lots of plus sizes so I was interested when I saw this label and so I picked this one up and I think the style is really cute it's just a basic like kind of like chambray top it does have the um, button here like a pearlized looking button and you can um, roll these sleeves or leave them down and then double breasted pocket and the um, cute little buttons on the as well and it is a size 1820 and I'm not sure exactly what material this is I haven't looked um, but this material is very like comfy and casual which is another it's 100% cotton so very casual and comfortable um, and I'm excited to try out a new brand because pretty much around where I live the only brand that I find in plus sizes is um, Torrid and that's if I'm lucky. I find a ton of Lane Bryant and I don't usually pick up Lane Bryant because a lot of times the styles are just really outdated or they're really really worn. So I was excited to find something that wasn't Torrid that was still plus size and in really good shape and cute. Um, for that one, 
Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't remember how much I'm going to list that for. I don't think I wrote that one down. So, sorry. <laughs> um, definitely can tell that this is my first video because I tried to prepare, but I was also trying to keep little kids out. So, <laughs> I definitely didn't get, like, all of my prices down. Um, but I did my best to get the most important ones. Uh, la, 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 let's see. Okay, this I was very excited to find because I've never found this brand before and it was definitely on my Bolo Be On The Lookout For list. It's Laundry by Shelly Seagal, Seagal and it's a size 6 and it is just a really simple like purple um, sheath dress and it does have these um, really cute, I don't know if you guys can see, uh, it has like an elastic sleeve so it's going to be tight at the wrist and then flowy and then it does have a split here, so um, a split like on the side of the arm which um, seems to be very common with a lot of her dresses, however this same style I was not really able to find a stock photo of because this material is super super stretchy and um, it's not like a silky material and all of the stock photos that I found for the dresses that looked like this were more of that silky material. So it's kind of a little bit one of a kind there. Um, but it's in really, really great shape. I don't see any issues with it. And so I'm excited to get this one listed. Um, I'm probably going to list this one pretty high. Like, I'm probably going to list it at, um, like 50 and we'll see how it does. I may have to drop that. I don't know because it is a new to me brand, but I'm definitely excited to give that one a try. And then last but not least for my pile here, I do have one other thing that's on the rack behind me, um, is this Old Navy um, Extra Extra Large Jean Jacket. And I definitely am always looking for the bigger sizes that are in good shape. This is in good shape. And jean jackets are really um, trendy, really in right now. And this one's in great condition. You guys can kind of see the back. has some nice um, factory distressed fading. Oh, sorry guys, I got to had a um, notification pop up. So this one's in really good shape. And yeah, definitely perfect for spring. Um, very good for this season that we're getting ready to go into. So I'm not expecting a ton for this, but I didn't want to leave it behind for only a couple dollars. And with it being in really good shape. So for that one, um, those retail at about 40, but Old Navy is another one that I generally would just stay away from. Um, because I feel like personally, they have a lot of sales. And so you can get their stuff, you know, pretty cheaply, brand new. And so their resale value just isn't very high. But for only spending a couple dollars on that, I was willing to give it a try. And I'm probably going to list that one at about 24 I've had some pretty good luck um, in the past with jean jackets. And it doesn't really seem to matter what the brand is because the style is very popular right now. And so if it's a cute look, a lot of times um, people will still buy those even if it's not necessarily like a really fancy brand so I'm excited to see how that one does for me and then I do have one more thing and it is behind me and it is actually already listed um, it is this kittenish white blazer this did not come from the church thrift this came from well I guess it came from a different church thrift um, and it is new with the tag here and I'll bring that closer so you guys can see kittenish and I think this is by Jesse James Decker um, it's her line her clothing line and then I'll turn around so you guys can see the back here and it's just really cute it has these faux pockets on the front can I turn that so you can see it has the faux pockets has a nice long sleeve with a little bit of a slit I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of it's shiny reflecting with a little bit of a slit it did have some staining on the sleeve which um, I was able to get out and I was very excited about. And it does have some like very light shoulder padding here. Just a little bit of it. Um, this one, my plan was to list for about 30, but I was able to get that stain out. And also, um, it's just super, like I feel like it's gonna um, come into style. Like in spring, one of the trends that um, 
I think we're going to be seeing a lot is blazers. Um, I've been, you know, trying to keep up with that. I like to look on Pinterest and see, you know, what are the popular styles um, for the upcoming seasons and all that kind of thing. And blazers are supposed to be in, especially like the um, monotone, like blacks, whites, grays. So I did list that one a little bit higher. I listed it at 50, but I am open to offers for that one and it is listed already. So that is my haul, um, my church thrift haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely, if you have any feedback, I would love to hear it. Um, this is my first video, so definitely I, it was not perfect, but um, you know, I'm going to keep working on these, keep getting better, and I hope that you guys will continue to watch me.